What's happening guys? My name is Danger on PC and this is going to be a little tutorial on how to do a reset console screen and wire keyboard. So what we've got here, we've got a wire keyboard, we've got our console screen, we've got a reset button, our expression 2 and our very very true Danger on PC land sign. So basically what's going to happen is we go onto the wire keyboard you can type whatever you want, come out of the wire keyboard and reset. That's basically it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's relatively simple, but it will help you with things like auto gun shops and those sort of things. So, let's get set up. So first we want to put our um, 2x2 stun plate up. I'm just going to make it look a little bit nicer. I'll we'll get a brick layout, shall we? Then we're going to go to wire. Go to our wire keyboard. There it is. Now I like this model. Um, doesn't particularly matter. Uh, I'm going to put it to British since I'm British. And we'll leave that there. You can also edit your leave key. Um, but I just keep it as alt. So we're going to have a console screen. Put it on there as well. Which I'm just going to shift it over a little bit. Then we want our button. Now I'm going to have the reset texture just because it fits the job really. And then we're going to have our expression 2. We're going to have a new expression. We're going to have name of resetting console or something like that. Uh, get rid of persistent trigger and then get rid of the placement text. So what are we going to want for our inputs? Well, first things first we're going to want a wire link to our screen and then well we're going to want our memory from here. So this is going to store memory which is what you're going to actually input into it. So we're going to want memory then if I just show you something real quick here. Now we've got char x, char y, char, char param, click, and reset. Now if I show you here, you just got to kick the bastard out of keyboard. Yeah, we'll go with that. So we're going to want all of these as outputs because they're all the things that we're going to want to change. So let's go back to our expression 2. Outputs. So we're going to have reset, click, char x, char y, char param, oh, it's bad days when you can't remember all this, did I put them all, click, char x, char y, char param, ah, char, sorry about that, right, so then we're going to want to make our first if statement, so if first, or duped, we're going to want to run this code. So we want click equal to 1, char param. Now this is going to be the parameter for all of the characters that you're going to input. So we want it as 999, so that's going to have some nice white characters. And we're going to have char x equal to 0, char y equal to 0. This is just where, um, where it starts typing from. So it's going to start typing from the top left over here. Right, so if we upload that, that's good. Now we're just going to hook everything up quickly, so we'll have wire advanced, char x to char x, char y to char y, char to char, char param to char param, click to click, reset to our button, out. Wire link we're going to have to here. And the memory we're going to have to the keyboard. I've just had a uh, thought as well. We don't actually need reset as an output. So we'll just leave that out. Right. Next thing's next. So we're going to want to actually be able to type on this. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to link our chart of our uh, console screen to the memory in the keyboard. Oops. Then we're going to say, if 
there is a change in memory, then char x plus plus, so that's going to move along 1, char param is going to be equal to 999, so this is just going to keep the next character white as well. We can have a bit of fun with this later. And then, so what happens if it goes off the borders? Well, then we're going to deal with that. So if char x is greater than 29, which is the amount across, then we're going to say char x is equal to 0, char y plus plus. Now, what happens if it goes off the y? If char y is greater than 17, which is the amount down, then we're going to char x equals 0, char y equals 0. So it's just going to overwrite everything, basically. And we'll just close all that off. Right. So let's have a look. So if we hook up into our wire keyboard. Ah. Seems we have a bit of a problem. Every single time that we type a letter, then it is leaving a space. This is because the, the memory locations here, when you're typing, are equal to zero. So, what we're going to want to do is, when we're typing, so when the memory is changed, then we're going to have an or, no, sorry, and memory is not equal to zero. Then, if we push our reset button, because we've already hooked that up, go to here, and we should have a nice little wire keyboard text screen. And then if we click the reset button, it resets. Simple as. So anyway, guys, this has been um, Danger on PC. And a console screen with reset and wire keyboard. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment on any issues or improvements that you have for my code or anything. I'm more than happy for anyone to critique the code or anything like that. So, peace, and I'll leave you with Danger on PC Land.